In this video, we're going to learn how to use the online graphing calculator Desmos to calculate a line of best fit. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the website www.desmos.com calculator, and it should bring you to a page that looks like this. So to get started, what we're going to need to do is first add our table that includes all of our data. So to do that, you're going to click on this plus up here in the left uh, top left corner that says add item, and we're going to select the table option. So it's going to give you x sub 1 and y sub 1. Those represent the x coordinates and y coordinates of our data points. So then you're going to enter your data. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then let's put in some data here. So 7, 6, 3, 2, 0. So now we have some points. Um, they do appear to be linear. And we want to calculate the line of best fit for this. So before we knew how to calculate a line of best fit, we would just pick our two points and find their slope, write the equation of the line uh, to estimate our line of best fit. But we want to get an actual calculation. So to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to put our cursor in the next line and we're going to type in this exact equation. So because we're referencing x sub 1 and y sub 1 from our data table, we're going to have to let Desmos know that those are the data sets that we're going to be using when graphing our line of best fit. So we're going to just type y sub 1. And to type the subscript, all you have to do is just hit y and then hit the number 1. And then we're going to use about. So this little tilde means it's about because, again, we're doing a regression. It's making an estimation. It's not going to be exactly perfectly linear. So y sub 1 is about m x sub 1 and then plus b. So we're writing our equation in slope intercept form. So you can see that once we typed in this equation, it gave us a line. And this line, it gives us the parameters here. So it says that m is negative 1.8 and b is 3.6. Well, that's just the value of your slope and your y-intercept for the given line of best fit that they drew. And then we can also see that we have this r value here. This r value represents the correlation coefficient. And it tells you how strong of a positive or negative correlation that you have. Um, so we can then use this equation. So if we wanted to just double check and make sure that this is in fact that same line, we can always just type our equation exactly as using the parameters they gave us. y equals negative 1.8x plus 3.6. And you can see that when we do that, this red line does lay exactly on top of our black line there. Um, so what can we use this line to best fit for? So now if we wanted to, we could go and use this line to make estimations about other data points, right? So if we knew some other values of x, we could always plug in those numbers into our equation and use it to make estimations about future values or values in between our given data set. So that's how you use Desmos to calculate a line of best fit.